This is a practice video for the Capuzzi Concerto in D major, and we're going to be starting on the third page and looking at measure 151 to start. Uh, this video is going to be practicing the bowings and fingerings, so we'll go back another time to work on intonation, but right now you're really just working on those fingerings and bowings. So we're going to start with the pickup to 151, so we'll play A, B, G. And it's going to be up, down, down. So I'll give you one, two, three. Up, down, down. Ready, set, go. Three more times. Ready, set, go. Make sure that low G is really heavy, slow bow to really get a good sound. Two more times. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Good. Now, we're going to look at the next three eighth notes, D, C, B, well, next four, D, C, B, A. And it's going to be up, down, up, down. So it'll be up, down, up, down. I'll give you one, two, three. Three. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. One, two, three. And I would say about balance point middle of the bow here. Don't get way out at the tip and don't be stuck down at the frog. So let's try it three more times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last time. One, two, three. Good. Now, the next measure in 152, we're going to do the first four notes. So A, B, C, D. And it's going to be down, a uh, hop, down. I'd like to try this a couple times slow, and then we'll pull it up to tempo. So let's try it a couple times slow. Down, a uh, hop, down. Ready, go. Try it again. Down, a uh, hop, down, go. And just one more time. Ready, go. Now, a good tempo for this piece is around 100 beats per minute. And that's going to sound like this. Here's our metronome. So if that's the case, we've got one and a two for this. One and a two. So try to keep your fingers really curved and close to the string for uh, these 16 notes especially. Let's try this five times. The first four notes of measure 152. I'll catch you up. One, two, ready, play. Down, up, uh, down. Ready, go. Three more times. Ready, go. Two more times. Ready, go. Last time. Ready, go. So I'd recommend just kind of going back and forth. Make sure you've got it nice and slow in that small chunk and then speed it up. Uh, now we'll add m beat two. So this is the four sixteenth notes that are all together in 152. And that's D, C, D, C, D. We're going to land on that eighth note that's beat three. So it'll be down, a uh, hop, down. Down, a uh, hop, down. Okay, let's try that three times slow. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Now, if we go back to our metronome, that's going to be a little faster. It'll be one, two, three, four, go. Ready, go. Try it with me four times. Ready, play. Keep that fourth finger close. Ready, play. Ready, play. Last time, go. Good. Now, while the metronome's on, let's try doing quick beat one and two of measure 152. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Just that much. Ready, five times. Ready, play. Ready, play. Three more times. Ready, play. Two more times. Ready, play. Last time. Ready, play.
turn that metronome off. So the the sixteenth notes in this piece are going to take a lot of practice getting it up to tempo. Uh, you can go back and do some rhythm variations, that type of thing. For right now, let's keep going. So now we're going to play the eighth notes arpeggio that goes down after this. So it's D A F D. And we're going to play D A first finger first position on the G string. F sharp D. And let's do that slow a couple times. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, now if we go back to our hundred here, it's gonna be one and two and, or in this case, three and four and. So a little faster. I'll leave that on. Let's try it five times. Bum, 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 bum. I'll give you ready, go, okay? Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. And last time, ready, go. So again, in this video, we're really just working on our bowing and our rhythm here. Now you could hear that I wasn't going quite far enough down for my A. So that is something that if I was going to go back more on intonation, I would practice sliding to really get that. And you can use a drone tone, something like that to, to work on that. For now, though, let's keep going. So what I want to do before we finish the phrase, we're going to make sure we're getting from this open D back up to C natural with fourth finger, open D. So uh, to get that, let's play our eighth notes and then quarter note, quarter note. This is measure 152, D, A, F, D, and then C natural, open D. So I'll give you one and two N. And it's going to be down, up on that. So down, up, down, up, down, up. Ready, play. times. Ready, play. And I'm shifting too far up for that C natural, so try not to shift too far. Ready, last time. Here we go. All right, so now before we move on, I would like for us to play the pick up to 151 and stop on that D in measure 153. Let's try all of that. One, two, three. And let's try it with our metronome. I think I'm just a little bit under tempo. Uh, three more times. Yep, we were just a little bit slow. So let's try it with the metronome three times. One, two, three. Two more times. One, two, three. Last time, one, two, three. So if you're having trouble with any of the clarity or bowings in that first section that we just played, the first phrase, then pause the video here and go back and practice measure by measure, little section by little section to make sure that you really have that solid before we move on. Okay, the next part that we're gonna do are the eighth notes leading into 154. So we have D, A, C, B. And we'll go ahead and get those quarter notes in there as well. So we do open D on an up bow, A, first finger, down bow, second position, fourth finger for C natural, and we're going to stay in second position for the two quarter notes and the downbeat of 154. Two on the B, one on low G. Make sure when you reach across that you don't do anything funky with this first finger and you really go just straight across. Um, so you might even just isolate that spot a little bit, make sure you've got it. All right, so we're gonna do oh, one, four, two, one. We're gonna go about this tempo. One and two and three and four and one and two and. 
Let's try it. One and two and three. Let's try it three more times. One and two and up. And I like down, down. You could do down, up. Uh, it doesn't matter either way. Would just pick a bowing and make sure it's the same in these next few measures. What does matter is that each of these set of eighth notes needs to start up bow. All right, so let's try that one last time, starting up bow on the D eighth note. One and two and three. Okay, now let's do the next set of eighth notes and quarter notes. This is measure 154, the third beat. We're gonna go back to first position, one for E, open G, four for B, two for A sharp, four for F sharp. And in tempo, it'll sound like this, one and two and three. All in position, try it with me three times, one and two and three. One and two and three. two and three okay and our next set of eighth notes a sharp c sharp b a sharp and we're going to do uh up bow on the c on the a sharp second finger still in first position shift up for c sharp with fourth finger one on the b half step shift down tiny shift down for a sharp with one F sharp two. Okay, so again, we're in first position, second and a half position, second position. Okay, so we start two, four, one, tiny shift down, one, two. Okay, so uh, the first note is by itself, and then two notes together, two notes together. We're starting up bow. Here's uh, how it sounds in tempo. One and two and three. Let's try it together three times. One and two and three. Two more times. One and two up bow. One and two and three. Good. Then we are going to stay in that second position here where our second finger was on the F sharp and we'll play A sharp with first finger. These are the eighth notes at the end of measure 156. So it'll be A sharp with one, half step shift up again to C sharp four, B one, A sharp, half step shift down, one. Okay, so try that with me three times. We're doing um, the three eighth notes at the end of 156. One and two and three. Two more times. One and two and three. Last time. One and two and three. All right, now, before we end this video, I'd like to try just getting all of those eighth note patterns, um, two quarter notes with eighth note patterns together. So this is measure 153 to the downbeat of measure 157. And we're gonna try it three times. So you're starting on C natural in 153. One, two, ready, go. Up bow.
that should give you lots to practice on those first couple lines on the third page. And I will talk to you next time.